What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest method to stealing ships after the latest update, which borks stealing ships on moons and planets. But I'm going to be showing you guys the absolutely easiest method, next best way. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to need, a few prerequisites. The first one is a starship design. I recommend at least rank two, but try to get to rank four if you can. And the next one here is targeting. We want at least rank one, but again, if you can get to rank four, even better. And then lastly, we are gonna need piloting rank four. You can easily upgrade this skill in the Vanguard Pilot Simulator on Jemison, or check out my other video, Quick XP Exploit. You'll be ranking this skill up in absolutely no time. So here we're gonna be heading over to Cheyenne if I can find it, there it is. And we're going to Aquila, and we're gonna be doing some ship modifications here. So we're gonna run over to uh, the ship shack, hey, talk to your I ship tech, you and we're looking for a specific kind of electromagnetic weapon, EM weapons. All right, so here's our ship right here. Right now we're rolling with the Dragon 261P SX Pulse Lasers. We've got two of them on each side. And we have the PBO 175 Auto Helium Beams, two of those on each side. And then the Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha Turrets. Now these are automatic turrets and for the sake of taking out ships in space or boarding ships in space, we don't want anything that are like completely automatic. So I'm gonna get rid of these for now. Not to say these aren't good weapons, they're great weapons. They're the ones that come with the Claymore 3, but we are gonna be replacing them with EM weapons or electromagnetic. And the reason we went to Aquila is because they have the best EM weapons that I personally know of in the game. If you guys know of any better ones, let me know down below in the comments. But I'm gonna be equipping my ship with the Tessu 501 EM suppressors. They have 108 electromagnetic damage, and we're also looking for the lowest amount of hull damage possible. If you aren't at rank four, you can get the 500 EM suppressor at rank two. It does 87 electromagnetic damage. All right, so we're gonna put two. That's the max you can do with this specific weapon is two of them on your ship. I'm putting my helium beams in slot one, the lasers in slot two, and then the electromagnetic weapons in slot three. So now we're gonna be heading over to Serpentis. If you guys are familiar with Serpentis, you'll know that in this system, if you go to any moon or planet in orbit, there's a 95% chance that you're gonna run into an encounter, either Varun or Ecliptic. And we're going to Serpentis first. I know it's only a level 55 system, but I just want to show you guys how this worked first before we go and try and find some of the higher level ships. So here we've got a Varun Revelation 2. It's actually not a bad ship. It's the exact same ship as the Storm Rider, the Galbank Storm Rider. It's just the Varun enemy variant. It's literally the same layout. So first thing we want to do is take out the shields. We're going to be using our lasers to take out the shields. And then target it. And we want to make sure our EM weapons are at full capacity with our power levels. And you can see that the EM weapons are just destroying these engines. And you can also take out the weapons pretty easily. And this is why you wanted the whole damage down as low as possible, because this will allow you to take out all the systems without destroying the ship. So here you can see they're just dead in the water. There's nothing they can do. <laughs> They are completely dead in the water, and if you do wait long enough, their weapon systems will start to come back online. Like you see right there, the laser just came back online. 
and I think eventually their engines will also come back online if you wait long enough. So I was just showing you guys this. Just, I mean, you can mess with them and you can keep taking out their weapons, but once you get those engines taken out, that's when you can finally dock the ship. So let's go ahead and dock it. I want to take out all your crew. Wow, Sarah's getting a little enthusiastic here. <laughs> All right, so once you've taken out your crew, make sure to check the sh captain's ship locker. I forget to do this all the time. I'll steal a ship and I'll sell it and I forgot to clear out the captain locker and that's just credits you're gonna lose if you don't do that. In this case, I also got an epic item. Sometimes you'll run into that as well. So once you take it out of the crew, you can sit down in the captain's seat. And there you go. Varun Revelation 2. And I'm not going to keep this ship because I already have one. But if you wanted to keep it, you would make it your home ship. Then board the ship that you showed up in. You can undock and then go back in your ship menu and make that one your home ship. So, some of the other planets I like to go to, or systems I should say, are Hugens and Hawking. These are some of the better areas for getting high level ships, and you can just kind of go around in a clockwise rotation and see what you can find. So in this case here, we ran to a, what looks like a Crimson Fleet ambush against the UC. And we are going to try to intervene as little as possible. We want the Crimson Fleet to take out the UC ships because we are trying to commandeer a Wraith 3. You always want to take out all the ships first except for the one you're trying to steal. So here we've got a Wraith 3. Go ahead and go into your targeting systems. Make sure your EM weapons are maxed. We're going to take out the weapons first here. And then the engines. And the engines are going to be a little tougher to take out. In this case, the shields were at max. So I was trying to take out the engines with the shields at max. So what you want to do is use your lasers to take out the shields. Just take them down. You can pop the shields or you can just take them down to, you know, like 10%. Go ahead and target it. And you can see that engine systems have been drained almost instantly with those shields down. So you can go ahead and dock it now. Take out your crew. <laughs> uh, awesome. All right, so taking out the crew, same thing here. Check the cargo hold. There's not much in the cargo hold. And then the ship locker, yep, right here. Get your credits. All right, sit down in your seat. And there you go. Crimson Fleet Ray 3. This one I am going to keep. I'm probably going to sell it. This one's got pretty good value. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it my home ship. 
temporarily. They did update this game. It used to be once you made your home ship, it would undock. Now it remains docked, which is really nice. So you can reboard your ship and then set the one that you showed up in as your home ship and then it'll stay in your inventory. Some people like flying it off, but I like leaving in the ship I showed up in. So a few other systems that are good to look in is Archimedes, Hawking, and then Boar, and then also Fermi. Fermi's awesome because there's a ton of moons, tons of planets. And like I said, I just like going in a clockwise rotation. I hit all the moons first, then the planet, and then I go to the next set of moons, and then that planet, and just keep going around in a circle. So in this case here, it's a similar situation. We've got ourselves a spacer ambush up against the UC, and we're just kind of hanging back, seeing what happens. If we have to use our autosave, we can, but essentially we want to make sure that the Spacer Hyena 3, that's the ship we're going for, essentially is not destroyed in this battle. And it looks like the Spacers are going to win this one because we didn't intervene. All right, now we can take out the Scarab, and then we can take out the Raven, so that the Hyena is remaining. So in this case, the Hyena has some pretty good weapon systems. We want to take out those weapons as fast as possible, and you might need some ship parts. I needed some ship parts for this part. They almost took me out. And I'm trying to take down the shield as much as possible with my lasers and then target it and then use my EM weapons to take out the weapon systems. Alright, weapon systems are taken out. Now last thing, we target it again and take out those engines. It should go down pretty quick based on where the shields are at. There you go. Took out the engines and docked the ship. And then same thing here, take out your crew. Shoot him, Sarah. <laughs> Get him, Sarah. Yeah, these hyenas have a ton of people on board. You're going to be playing a little uh, hide and go seek for a little bit. But there's always some funny moments in this game. Sometimes the animations kill me in this game. All right, same thing here. We are looking for the captain's locker right there. Take your credits. Sit down in your seat here. And you've got yourself a Spacer Hyena 3. 500,081 credits. This is actually one of the higher valued ones I've seen. There's other Spacer Hyena 3s that are lower value. And in this case, I'm going to be selling the ship unregistered. Uh, stay tuned. I've got an updated guide to sell unregistered ships in like the most efficient way possible. It's going to be a pretty solid video. Stay tuned. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments or tips and tricks let me know down below if you like this kind of content subscribe to the channel and as always have a wonderful day